Dave, Dave! What did you do today? Son, I didn't pay for six years at UCLS. It's only been and stopped long, doing any way. of those things afterwards and acted indignantly when my husband got upset. And that ability to Doc, hey. My mind Michael. Well, I'm looking through my appointment book, and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. We should talk about border security. Yes. Fernando was thinking about the gaping hole in our nation's security. We have to plug that hole. We're all exposed. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. My son. <laughs> my daughter. My wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just... All of a sudden, get up on top of me, right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit, and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where Getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? 
or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules. Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I mean, I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Hey, wait a minute, that's the shot. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. Eccentric Peter Dreyfus. It
Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. Then you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you got to figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Tragic, but they'll do. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. 
Good luck at the interview. Bye. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Oh, you've been added on this PC. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. Scanning. You want to take a break for some air guitar? Give me the wink, bro. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. You should be a little lean, dude. <laughs> When we go mobile, we'll be able to track all their movements. Dude, we'll when it blue everything. screens again, so you're cool. my guy. Bye now.
Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Oh. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh! How's your air guitar? Oh, um... All right, follow me. Okay. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing seas! Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't! I stoned ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry, the phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. It's a horizon of... Continue. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! I'm watching Famer Shame! The fucking tits! No! Get it up! What a talent! I have never seen someone set fire to their project. Fantastic! The most racist guy in America. You all disgust me! I'm mad. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage! Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the... Uh, oh, hold on a second. You. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Ah. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Let's... Whoa!
Lester, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Call to tell me that. Not you, the Dieter Sachs store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, now you want me. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is for real policemen. You worthless turd. Assault on top of the shoplifting beat. He's got my car! Okay? Hit the gas! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. The cops are still after us! Relax. I got this. Hello? No seatbelt? Shit! They're still on us! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I'm on top of it. Get us out of here! Chill out. It's under control. Let's go, Michael! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Is that it? Are they gone? Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll take you back to the house. Say it! What? That I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed! Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you! I'm... Money! I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail! Where are you going? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at, love, love, big love. So this is what it's like to be you? Uh, not really, honey. See, I'm a semi-successful crook. You're a bit of a failure, but hey, 
kudos for trying. Not that successful if you're in witness protection. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we see what Agent Dave and the FIB think of this Lovers on the Run act? Are we going home? You know, I'm sort of thankful for this. Thankful? This is the worst day of my life. Ah, oh, come on, you're doing your part. Your spending habits have got us into a sticky financial situation, so you're cutting corners. Really? My spending habits? I've seen your day trader account. Oh, hey! That's private. I swear, password protection, it ain't even sacred no more. Give it up. You pissed our savings down the toilet. Really? Our savings? Yeah, our savings. I gave up everything to start this life with you, you selfish shit. Yeah, <laughs> okay, all right, whatever. Our savings. It's just, look, you can't look at the day-by-day -day figures. You gotta look at the overall, the, you know, the net figure. I've seen the net. It's a fucking disgrace. Hey, I'm bringing it around. Sure you are. Just please give me some warning before they repossess. It ain't that bad. Couple of weeks. A day, even. I don't want to be there. Honey, we're fine. Sure. Can we drive home, please? Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and... Yeah. Thank you. Make this any worse than it already is. Tell me it's good news. I'm sorry about that. I thought you might need this. What a gentleman. And for once, I'm not being sarcastic. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do's your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. <clears throat> are you crazy? I thought I put you out of business already. Bullshit! Yeah. You ain't got sense to
Keep cool, old oh. baby. It's oh. just a this car. Is Excuse me, sir, can I talk to you for a second? The fuck are you talking about? I am talking about a hotline straight to heaven. That this state makes illegal. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about reform. No, no, they rigged the vote. I saw the ballots. It's a lie. It's democracy at work, amigo. Democracy can suck my fatty. Democracy only works when it lets intelligent people do what they want. This? This is tyranny by morons. <laughs> yeah, well, I got things to take care of in a little place called reality. You want a drag? Nah, I'm not a drug guy. This isn't bushweed. This is mana. I grow it myself. No paranoia, no weirdness. A passport to nirvana. Fuck, give me that. Yeah, here, you'll hardly feel it. Yeah, I smoke all day and I'm fine. It's a pure, mellow high. But I do get concerned about the monsters. Yeah. I mean... I'm sure they're nothing serious, but, uh... Oh. I never let them get to you. Oh! The fuck! Ah. I really screwed myself this time. After that, you see, the liquor companies push for continued prohibition, which is complete insanity. <laughs> so I take it I can count on your support. The fuck just happened? What are you talking about? We discussed globalization, the state. Stay the fuck away from me. What? But it's a good cause.
Give me, sweetheart. Watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just... Want you to do something besides sit there eating? Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah. Well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. <sighs> Fuck me. We'll take a bike ride along Vespucci Beach. And I'll show you just what you want to see. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yo, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house. Let me run your back. After that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fuck-faced? Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. 
And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? <sighs> I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation. And I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. study program, you keep hearing advertised. That is a cult. Why do they always give me the cults to interview? God, I'm doomed. Show this market is cults and, and whack jobs and fake boobies everywhere. You're so judgmental. I'm not talking about yours. They're tiny fake. I mean, it's uh, cute. Hello. I like to put little army men on them and they can have a little battle. Oh. I take Here we are at the bike rental place. Hi, sir. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of like force of habit. Oh, um, oh, oh. I'm really sick. <laughs> Can't make it to work today. Hey, man. Hey, you. Two old, bikes. Man. Take your pick. No, thanks. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're gonna buy me a big ass new flat screen. Damn! Into the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're gonna behave like a human being. Give it up, Dad. You've got to see. In this kind of condition, a triathlon would kill you. Try and get past this fat ass! I'm being hypnotized by your wings flapping. I'm not gonna be able to stop this thing! like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? 
You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Whoa! Hey! Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Hey, Let's go. Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> dude, what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey! Oh, 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 man! I like that! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Go into the outlet! If you say so, Trace! if we keep going this way. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when the TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Go, go, keep going. Come on, let us go. It's not okay. 
Kay, it's terrible. I can't believe you did that to me. Whoa, whoa, chill out, babe. Now, what did you say? Yeah, no, no, no worries. It was a pleasure. I bet it was a pleasure. You're only pleased when you're being shot at. No, I meant you don't have to thank me for saving your life from those maniacs. You didn't say that. You ruined it. TV and he took me to the beach. The beach with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like you get sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Think of apologizing. Hey, sorry. using a range of goals. 
goal-oriented reprogramming techniques. It's about completeness and the opportunity that offers to people to realize a beautiful truth. In a convention center for a weekend retreat. Oh! Give me a break. I am doing. I'm giving you the best break of all. The chance to live free of dogma and can't. It's a structured study program. What have you got to fear? What is one weekend of your life? Okay, I've been dragged into all kinds of bad situations with that line. That's a beautiful I can tell plan. you what one weekend of your life is. One where you wake up on a tattoo and a new wife that pees standing up. Besides, I just have this weird thing against new religions that are founded by tax accountants. Call me boring, but when it comes to imaginary friends, I'm strictly old-fashioned. For the last time... Let me know if you see something. Sexual that literally millions of people look hey, at me. Hey, hey. It sucks. It's, it's, it's okay. We just can't change. Ooh, too close. Made up some pictures that seem to show you, you know, being spanked in a room. That's not true. They can put my head on any dude's body. I'm much bigger than that. It's computers. There were no cameras in there. the hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look, I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The shop's on Little Portola. About to get some mind-boggling currents through your body. Man, I just love it. We are here to deal with your love. 
Santos County into the... Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Well, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and then withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white, middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Okay, let's get this done. You reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security the features, the alarm system, the ventilation, cameras. I don't need that stuff anymore, Mama. I'm a vegan now. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Glasses are live, shoot away. Uh, shots come through. Camera check, alarm check, vents check. Good work, now speak to the assistant and see if there's anything else we need to know. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her, what's her taste? Cheap, thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe 10 grand. Our rings start at 8, our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. I'll call you at the weekend, okay? So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building, see where the ventilation comes out. If I don't get some gigs, I'll be taking classes at nightlight. I heard that. Yo, what's up? Drive around the block and look for a way up to the roof. Look, there, some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. So, you keep up with the old crew? Well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? I'm on the roof. I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. <sighs> what do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Oh. <sighs> right, 
Alright, you're well placed to take the photo of the system now. Okay, capture an image of the system and we're done. That's the shot. You've covered the vents on the roof now. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Speed this up. We don't want to draw attention. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and told him to start setting up the information. So, what did you see? Well, nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes who rub his nose in it. Uh, good. An alarm system's linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. The glass in the cabinets was bulletproof, means you can smash them easy enough, but the stones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open then? Right. Once we melt down the gold and recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. Might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. Here are the photo. My uh, workers have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Don't want to leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, and showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise. But making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LS. PD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay, select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the bikes, lead you out through the tunnels. Eddie Toe. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. 
guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, yeah, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long you get inside. This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. Let's take a chance on him. If you're happy, I'll start making the arrangements. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me, Michael. What's going on? Listen, um, I gotta get hold of the money for that house we pulled down, so well, I'm getting a crew together for, uh, you can guess. The pay will be awful, and the risk will be high, but you might learn something if you're interested. Man, that's not exactly a great sales pitch, dog. but I guess I gotta start somewhere. Thank you. Maybe one day you could put together your own deals, your own jobs, so. There's still some preparation I gotta do. Sit tight for a while. My buddy Lester will get in touch with the details. 